Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Python for Beginners and recently we have been discussing about mathematical functions in NumPy. Two videos have already been uploaded on this mathematical function and this would be the third video and this video will complete most of the things about mathematical functions and we will not upload any video on this mathematical functions. So as you know whenever we are working with NumPy initially we have to import NumPy as NP this is for the short form. And today's topic we have taken a few example like NP.LCM from the name itself you can understand it will give you the LCM that is lowest common multiple say 2 comma 4 so this one is 4 that is the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4 what if we have multiple numbers like say 2 4 8 and then we have 9 so what would be the LCM for this you have to put it inside a box bracket and you have to write LCM dot reduce then only it will work so this is the LCM 72 in general we don't require to calculate LCM however I promise that I will be talking about most of the mathematical operations available and that's why we have been talking about it now what is GCD GCD means greatest common divisor so let us check say 2 say 2 and 8 so GCD will be 2 so 2 is the number that divides all the numbers in the series what if we have more numbers say say we have 16 we have 32 we have 84 we have 92 so here also if you have more than two numbers then it will be np dot gcd dot reduce then if we click so again it is 2 because you can see all those numbers all are divided by 2 and 2 is the maximum I mean common divisors among those this is 2 if we remove 2 then it will be 4 so 4 is the number which divides all the numbers and this is the maximum so this is the concept you will understand better if we put a random number say 15 then you can see it will be 1 because it is only the one which divides all the number in the series and again 1 is the maximum because it is only 1 so this is GCD now say np.cbrt cbrt means cube root suppose np.cbrt 9 so it will be not 9 say 8 so it will answer will be 2 yeah what if if you have an array it will also give you the cube root of arrays say 8 then 27 then 64 Yeah, so the cube roots are 2, 3, 4. So you can calculate cube root by np.cbrt. Then we have taken np.fmod. So what is that one? Let us just see it. So what is this doing? See, 2 is dividing. 3 by 2 so the answer is 1 and the remainder is 1 so what it is doing is it is this fmod function is giving you the remainder also it is taking the sign like it, it was minus 3 and that's why it is minus 1 for this one 2 divide 2 there is no remainder that's why 0 for this one you see this is minus 1 because it does not divide and hence the remainder will be minus 1. So this minus is coming from the sign. 
say this is plus 3 so the sign was plus 5 so np dot f mod also giving you plus 1 so this is the operation sometimes we require it and from the name itself you can understand np dot reciprocal will give you the reciprocal number yeah again you can have an array of this say 2 5 7 8 9 so if you click here it will give you an array of reciprocals yeah it's not working okay it doesn't work for the array we have to check but anyway if you give individual numbers it will calculate say for two something went wrong that's why it's not giving okay okay so it should be a float that's why it was not working yeah now it will work if you give more numbers say 3.0 7.0 8.0 and put it in a array yeah now it worked so for this one you should always put in float that is something say 2.0 3.0 then only it will work so we have discussed mostly about the mathematical functions there are few more functions but i will not be covering all this if you require you can comment in the comment box and we can discuss further thank you